And then I take three. I take three. Okay. Get the monarch, which I don't actually want. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In our fourth episode of Commander Madness, we have some amazing commanders to take you on a great adventure. I'm your host, Urza, and I'm Mishra. And over the next couple months, you will see the top 50 most popular commanders battle it out to see who is the best. That's right, Urza. Each of our players chose four from the top 50 commanders off of the EDH Rec website. Each week, the players will play a high power game using a different commander until all have been played at least once. Each player will then choose one of the four commanders that they've chosen to compete in the finals. So join us for some high power battles with your favorite commanders here at Commander Madness. Dominaria wouldn't be the same without our great supporters, TCG Player and Dragon Shield. So use our links the next time you buy cards or sleeves online. No matter what side of the battle you're on, you're always a winner when you become a Kingdom's patron. We have many fun things in store this year, including our next CDH League and tournament coming soon. Check it out at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. Hi everyone, Julian here, and I am playing Joda, not the Unifier, Joda the Divider. Um, this deck is kind of just, well, it started as a human tribal Joda list, but I just threw in a bunch of hate bears and things that make it annoying for my opponents to play the game. Um, and so we're just going to see how that goes. I'm, I'm trying to make some enemies here. My deck is Queen Marchesa, and... Uh, Who are you? My name is Jay. Hello, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this deck list came courtesy of our dear friend, Esmond, from Quintessential Commander. This is his pet deck, and he told me to have fun with it. And, uh, yeah, make him pay. All right, I'm Spencer. I'm playing a Layla, Artful and Provocateur, and I'm running some stacks, pieces, and hate bears as well. So this is going to be a fun game. Oh. I'm just going to try to swarm people with fairies or maybe combo off. Mm. Well, I was going to enjoy my afternoon. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm John. I'm playing Lisa, Shroud of Dusk. Uh, Orzov, just stereotypical life drain, life hate. And then I just siphon as much as I can and let them do all the work for me. Okay, one, two, three. Eight. I got three. Six. Four. Eight. All right. Well, F. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bloodstained Mire. Did you draw? No, we're gonna crack it and go. Draw, play a planes, and I'm just gonna pass with that. I will draw, I'll play Prismatic Vista. I will tap that, pay a life, and I'll get a basic planes. Hooray, I cut right to it, sweet. And then I will actually use that to cast Enlightened Tutor. What do you I might as well search for it. Um, I'm gonna get land tax. <laughs> nice, okay, I assume you're done? Yes. Okay, draw for turn. I got Suval Triumph. I should... I've got a Bayou, and I will pass. Let's play Silent Clearing, pay one life, play Orzhov Signet, and pass. Turn, play Glacial Fortress, it'll come in untapped. I'm going to play my own Orzhov Signet, Ooh. pass. I will untap, draw land tax, I will pay land tax, and then I'll play Cabal Coffers for turn, and pass. And I will draw for turn. I kind of wish I'd gotten this down a turn cycle before, but I'm going to play a Thalia, Garden of Thraven. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. Ooh. Oh, okay. I will pass the turn. Untap. I'll keep draw. Yes! <laughs> the tax works if he plays the land. <laughs> Hooray! You, you were really banking on that, yeah. So time for the queen. It she is. only costs four? Yeah, yeah, she only costs four. What? Sweet. So I'll pay here, tap here, create four mana. Queen Marchesa, I become... And... I'm gonna swing at you for a three death touch. <laughs> 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 and draw for Mark. I don't think I actually remember okay. that. Yep. <laughs> Tap and draw. Really gonna make this cost one extra just for my talisman of hierarchy. Hey, there we go. The value. <laughs> okay. The value. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. <gasps> Jay has more land than me. Awesome. <laughs> How many are you searching for? Three. Three basic land cards. Up two. Up two. Up yep. two. Grab a plains and two swamps. Hey, -o. 
I'm revealing them as instructed. Three in my hand. Draw for turn. Swamp return. Four, eight. I will discard this swamp because I didn't think I had. And pass. Untap. Nothing on upkeep. Draw. I will play a Cavern of Souls naming humans. Play a Timna the Weaver. And then I will... Swing at me. Yeah, swing at Jay. To get um, the Monarch. Yep, I will take the Monarch. And then I will pay one life and get a card off of Timna. And then I will pass and draw off of Monarch. Untap. Create an Assassin. Okay, we're going to pay four. Play Brutal Horde Chief. Ooh. Brutal. <laughs> this, this is going to start hurting real bad. And I'm going to attack you for three. Yep. I gain one. Oh, you gain one? Yeah, whenever a creature you control attacks, defending player loses one life and you gain one oh, life. Oh, shoot. Okay. I lose another. Okay. Um, and then I'll proceed to end step and draw a card. Hey, I'll draw for turn. You didn't play land. Shame on you. <laughs> well, you, you have more than enough you almost left in your only hand. Ever, oh, I know. You <laughs> almost only ever need land taxi golf once anyway. Yeah, yeah. One, one mana draw three. It's only to just catch up. Yeah. yeah. I'll discard hand size. I'm going to play <laughs> Mistgate Pathway this time. Yeah, Ooh. I'm going to play Alayla. Ooh. Oh, like cool. Mine? Okay. Untapped. Draw. I'll play planes. Oh, are you the only one with four lands? Yep. Really? He is. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you can't work the system if the system isn't draw. working. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this needs to be a not Cabal Coffers pass. Untap. Draw. Yeah, if you've got it, that, I'm all for it. Play an island. Sure, let's play a Linvala Shield of Seagate. Which, uh, at the beginning of combat, if you have a full party, which I don't think it's even possible for me to have, I choose an on land permanence and opponent controls, and it's basically detained. Uh, oh, but hmm. more importantly, I can sack this and choose hexproof or indestructible, and creatures I control get that until end of turn. Ah! And I would like some life back, so I'm going to come at you, John. Sure. For two. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll pay one of those lives and draw a card off of Timna, and then I will pass. Untap. <sighs> Blood Crypt untapped. Let's just do bang two. Yeah, do I just value the life more? Probably not, because you're going to hit me anyway. So I guess I'm going to sack this and choose it. Choose indestructible. wisely. <laughs> so my creatures are indestructible. Okay. Until end of turn. Pay three. Play Brenna, uh, the what? demagogue. R remind me what that does again. It's, like, it's complicated. It's I, dark. It I can't see it. Whenever a player attacks one of your opponents, if that player has more life than another of your opponents, the attacking player draws a card, and you put two one-one counters on a creature you control. So it takes damage from attacks a player that has higher life total than us. Yeah, you get to draw a card. That's, that's me. That's you. <laughs> it depends on who you ask. Uh, okay, but it, but if you're the one attacking, you get both. Yes. Yeah. We'll move to attacks. We're going to send Marchesa at you for three. Okay. And one at you, John. Well, why not? The door's open. Right. Me neither. You each take an additional one from Brutal Horde Chief. And I put two 1-1 one -one counters on creatures I control. Oh, and you gain two life. Neener, neener. <laughs> and I draw two cards. Okay, yeah. And so you can put the counters on a creature before damage. Because, because this is when you attack, not whenever it deals oh, damage. Oh, it's an attack trigger. It's an attack trigger. So... Yes. So, so you can deal one of them two extra damage if you want. But actually, because you're attacking both of them, I think this triggers twice. Two on Queen Marchesa. Okay, so two more from that. And then put two more on Queen Marchesa. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then I'm going to put two on uh, the bird. Cool. So I have a five flyer. Draw two cards. Draw a card for Monarch. Hmm. We'll just discard the dread, the death tower. Oh, because I can Because I can buy him back. buy back. Yeah, okay. Smart. Turn. I think I need to get rid of this because it's costing way too much for me to catch my removal. So I'm going to sort that. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, so I will gain, well, I gain life to equal to power or power. toughness? Power. Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah, two life. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to play Chromatic Lantern now and I get a fairy token. Uh, okay. you, I should attack you, you just because you have a creature that can gain you life. Uh, that's fair. That. But but you will draw a card? I'll draw a card. And, and you will put two 1-1 one -one counters on. Two lives. We got to do something about that now, but I yeah, had to get rid is... of that because it no, makes no, my no. removal cost so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand. Especially because it looks like you're you're kind of landlocked. So, so <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting land cards, so I definitely need the rocks. All right. Oh, um, but now you got a blocker too. I do have a blocker. You gain two life. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. People are still like, oh, man. Four. Sorry. Why do I got to keep playing land on curve? Untap. <laughs> draw. I have discovered that I put a lot of high cost. Stuff in my deck. Pass. 
<laughs> okay, untap, upkeep, draw. We will play an Arid Mesa. Go ahead and sack that, losing a life. Uh, what colors do I need? Okay, that's a plateau. I'm gonna cast a Cissé, which is a 4-4 right now because I have the two colors. I think I'm, I, I, I'm gonna come at you, John, for two. Cool. Well, not cool, but you know. But now, no matter what, he'll only get one trigger. Unless I have a way to lose life. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wait, yeah. You can stack the trigger so that Brutal Horde Chief triggers before Brina. My bad. <laughs> I'll pass. Oh, wait. Hey, I should have drawn a card from that. Whenever a player attacks one of your opponents, if that opponent has more life, the attacking player draws a card. Yep, you have you to. Put, yep. Not a may. And um, then he gets two more. I am not going to be spending any life to draw any cards. Uh, I'll pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> you got five land in play? Just three. Right? I do. Yay! No. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Five land in play. Big... Yes. I can play Peacekeeper for a second. Oh. Mangra, Mangra the Diplomat. Okay, so whenever an opponent attacks with creatures, if two or more creatures are attacking you or a Planeswalk you control, draw a card. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell, each turn draw a card. And we're gonna play Dolmen Gate. Prevent all damage to attacking Prevent creatures all. you control. And then we'll go to attacks. And Spencer, you've got seven, eight coming at you. I will block the seven this time. John, you got five coming at you. Okay. Julian, you have five coming at you. So before we do damage, you should you should do the triggers, yeah? So Spencer loses two from Brutal Horde Chief. We both lose one. Yep. But I'll do this trigger first. Because he had more life. Yes. Right, right, right. Yes, yeah. yeah. You'll only get one. He well, only gets. I get one. You only get one trigger he because one he's trigger. the only one with higher life total at the time. Yeah. yeah. So I draw one card. Yes. Okay. Put yeah. two counters on. on then Brutal Horde Chief triggers. Sure. So where are you putting the counters? Like a beefy assassin. I'm a huge fan of a commander hammer personally, but that's just me. Let's just do that. So she's nine. I was definitely blocking either way. <laughs> <laughs> I will take five. I can't block. One, two, three. You take four, one five. more from the assassin. Um, and then I gain three. Don't you gain four? Four, because you attacked with four. From Brutal, from brutal mm -hmm. Chief, yeah. Yeah. Look, look at that. You're, you're almost back up to full. <laughs> <laughs> then draw four. End of your turn, I'm going to enlighten tutor. Okay. Meek stone. That'll work. <laughs> oh, uh, big creatures just, don't untap? Big creatures don't untap during its power three untap. or greater. Sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll take that. So it goes to the top, and then it goes my turn. That was a good find. Draw. So I'm going to play that, of course. Meek stone. Get a fairy token. I'm going to attack <laughs> you, though, for two. Okay. And then I gain two. I get the monarch. I'll go to end step and draw for monarch. Okay. And pass. Cool. All right. I'm untapped. Hey. Upkeep. Land tax triggers. Hooray. I got you. Yeah. Thanks, so guys. Yeah. You're so nice. I can't leech off my opponents if my opponents don't do it. Gosh. <laughs> it's the life of a mooch. I'll pull a swamp. Land tax. That goes in my hand. Draw for turn. Now we're getting somewhere. Woohoo. Two and two black. I will cast something. Finally. Shouldred, the apocalypse. Drawing. <laughs> Whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. Yay. Whenever an opponent draws a card, they lose two life. Man, I really don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Pass. <laughs> okay. Untap. Nothing on upkeep. Draw, lose two life. Scalding Tarn. Let's see. First, I'm going to play a dock side. Oh, no. You get one extra because I have an enchantment in play. Oh, yeah. It's artifact yeah. and enchantment. Yeah, duh, so. duh. It, it, it does count. Yep. Yeah. And you're going to drain me for some life by casting your second spell this turn. Because every card, every card I draw. <laughs> That'd be really funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to sack the Scalding Tarn. Take one. I will get a... Sure, more white. This deck is... I think it should be at least one life lower. So this. Blue and one of these. Okay, casting Jota. So... All my legendary creatures are bigger. My legendary creatures I control get plus X plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures I control. And whenever I cast a legendary spell from my hand, I basically cascade into another legendary. Should I do something about that? <laughs> He's gonna cast something big and then cascade. I'm gonna Baleful Mastery for two, the Joda. To so exile, start creature Planeswalker. If I paid two, an opponent draws a card. If I draw a card I'll have John draw a card. Oh man. So that's on the stack. Yeah, and I guess if the board gets wiped, it's Judge, fine. slow um, play. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna activate Cissé. Oh, okay. Switch my library for a legendary permanent card. I'm going to bring out a Shalai and give Joda Hexproof. 
That'll do it. You don't get to draw a card. Oh, that goes to the battlefield. You, okay. you don't get to draw a card. I don't get to draw a card. <laughs> I will pass the turn. Okay. So the Arsassin. One taps. You get a new one, too. Oh, you, you do get another one. Monarch. Yeah. There's two of them. Deuce. Play Maze of Ith. Ooh, okay. Have you drawn for a turn? No. Too, too much drawing to keep track of. <laughs> <laughs> so many cards. I don't know. I think so. I think I did. Okay. Okay. Did you take two upon drawing? Mm, no. Okay, let's play Council's Judgment. Ooh. I don't want to vote. <laughs> I abstain. Then so, I'm going to cast Tivit. No! So, so what is that? Everyone votes for something and it gets okay, exiled? Okay, starting with me, each player votes for a non-land permanent you don't control, exile each permanent with the most votes, or tied for the most votes. Ah, okay. Uh, Joda. Okay, and well, now goes to Spencer. Yeah. I'm going to pick... The Shalai. Okay, my target will be Joda. Okay, then, uh, then yeah, my target will be. I'll ju- I'll just pick Shoulder out of spite. But <laughs> <laughs> not sure. Not sure. Do anything now. <laughs> yeah. If I'd had the chance, I would have gotten rid of the Shoulder. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were gonna go for the Meek Stone, actually, but mm, no, because I can do this. You're just gonna destroy it. Just anyway. gonna destroy it. Yeah. Uh, Exile says Meek Stone. I could Dovin's veto that. <gasps> Gotta keep it around as long as I can. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna attack with one assassin. He'll block with the fairy. Nah, I probably. Ain't. I'm trying to decide if I want to just keep the monarch with me or I can just take it back. But yeah, oh. I mean, the trigger still happens. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh, you're doing yeah. it for the triggers. Yep. Good. Yeah. No, I'm just talking about like whether I keep the monarch or not. Mm-hmm. Well, before before you decide that, these two triggers are happening before he gets the chance yeah. to block. Yeah. Draw. Take two. I guess I take one from Gen one. the Horde Chief anyway. Mm-hmm. And are you putting counters on something? We'll put no, it's just the defending the... player. Oh. Uh, we might need we might need another assassin, yeah. But you can just yeah. I'll block it. Okay. Pass the turn. And draw. Spencer did a lot on not lose his two turn. life. I do, yeah. It's I'm us, yeah. going to Which is what actually Leesa wants shock to do. myself with Hollow Fountain. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna play Grand Arbiter Augustine oh, the man. Fourth. Everything of ours costs more. Yep. yep. I think I'll do this as well. Anointed procession. Oh so my gosh! Away from that, <laughs> you draw a card. You do draw a card. I just cast a second life. spell. So it's the next fairy that you make that I'll start makes making two. two of them. Yep. I uh, think I'll just attack. You don't have a flyer. I don't have a flyer, but I also don't have a more life than you anymore. I know. You're just getting in there for the damage. I'm getting in there for damage right now, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I w- it wouldn't trigger off you anyway. You could maze of it if you only... wanted to. Oh, but... that's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, take two. You're not okay. attacking me with two flyers, with two creatures, right? Just one. So my life total is precious right then now. Then I'll draw a card for Monarch, and that's when I lose two life. Woo. Okay. Mine. All right. I will untap. Do you have six lands? Uh, I do. Woo. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Upkeep. We're working that. Basic land hustle. Thanks for helping me exploit the system. You're more than welcome. There we go. My cabal coffers will do something eventually. Haha, <laughs> not. Someday. <laughs> yeah. Someday, someday, next game. That was tough. Okay. Those three land go in my hands. Draw for turn. And I pulled three land because I top decked Reliquary Tower. Oh, I uh, drew a card. I, drew, I gained two life. There we go. I will pay four with an additional one because of the Grand Arbiter and cast Audric, Lunark Marshal. It won't untap if I attack, so I will pass turn. Untap, draw, and lose two life. Five for a Winota. Uh, yeah. Keep in mind, uh, <laughs> with Cavern of Souls, it cannot be countered. It cannot be countered. Yeah. I am going to go to combat. Okay, Audric triggers on combat of every turn, so he has death touch as well. Oh, cool. Okay. I think I'm just scared about Spencer running away with the game at this point. I feel like I'm still just kind of defending, but... <laughs> I mean, my Shalai will not untap, but but yeah, I am coming at you with these two creatures. How big are they? Uh, uh, it's a 1-2 and a 3-4. Three, 3-4 four. Three, four has flying. Um, Winota is going to trigger, so I am going to look at two triggers. Oh, that's a Queen Marchessa. Hey, hey you and the captain. You hit me. Hey, there's a Grand Arbiter. <laughs> there's a Grand Arbiter. <laughs> oh <on>. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> is that too mean? <laughs> it's a little honestly, bit mean. No, but it's funny. I honestly wouldn't mind. <laughs> to everybody not involved with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I think I, I think I need to do this so Spencer doesn't just play... Grand Arbiter, he is coming in, I guess, at Spencer as well. Uh, these go on the bottom. Second one out of trigger. Oh, whiff. So, yeah, Spencer, you have these coming at you. A 1-2, a 3-4 in the air, and a 2-3 that's indestructible. I think I will just block the 3-4. Okay. 
Yeah, take three. Okay. Get the monarch, which I don't actually want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I will. Now I will get rid of Meek Stone and let him attack you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll draw a card, lose two life, and that that is the end of my turn. Good. Shielded, dirty wretch. I mean, it's it's been doing some work. It's good. You're also going to get another assassin token. I will. Woo! So. It's the queen. Yep. Okay. Play Takanuma. Abandon Mire. Six. Play Promise of Loyalty. Okay, it's seven. You gotta, you gotta it does cost more. seven. Because yeah. there's two Grand Arbiters. Because there's Six. two of them. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. What, so what does this do? Each player puts a vow counter on a creature they control and sacrifices the rest. Oh. Each of those creatures can't attack you and or planeswalkers you control as long as they, it has the vow counter. And we all have to choose at the same time. I don't think there's any question as to who I'm choosing. And I don't think there's any question as to who John is keeping. Oh yeah, that's the, my only offensive weapon this game. <laughs> yeah, what am I keeping? And these are exiled or destroyed? Uh, sacrificed, I think it said. Oh, you sack them. Sacrificed, okay. That's my turn. Tap the draw. I think I just recast Alayla for <laughs> six. But then that's all I can do, and I pass. Did you lose Take two life? Two, okay. Did I lose two life in that, yeah. Okay, I will untap, upkeep the tax triggers. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I guess that would have cost one less. Three. Running low on basics, guys. Running low. <laughs> Which just means he's getting to his, he's getting to all his answers. Yeah. In my hand, draw for turn. You're going to gain two life. Woo! Everyone attack John. He's winning. He might actually start winning now. Actually, <laughs> his highest life total. Get him! <laughs> Swamp return. My cabal coffers nets me nothing. All right, but all my stuff costs two extra, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Four, five, plus two. Alhamrat's archive. Oh! Okay. If I would gain life, I'd gain twice that much instead. If I draw a card except for the first one I draw, which I don't think I have in this deck, I would draw uh, two cards instead. Gotcha. Okay. And I'll pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Misty Rainforest. Oh, I lose two life. Tap three for a Bloom Tender. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to play this Arcane Signet. And then I will go to the end of my turn, draw a card, lose two more life. Oof. Okay. This has been an interesting game where it's Very, mostly just yeah. effects sitting on the field doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. Six will play Worst Hole. Oh. Woo! Okay. When you okay. tap a land for whatever reason, you got to tap them all. If you attack with a creature, you got to attack with them all. I love Worst Hole. Oh, I create an, I create an Arsassum. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and best turn. Okay. And now I have to go all out on my turn if I want to cast spells. Drop for turn. Isolated Chapel comes in untapped. Oh, I lost two <laughs> from the draw. Tap all my stuff down. Maybe do it like this. So I'll cast Baleful Strix, which will give me two fairies. And I draw a card and lose two life. Ooh. And then the last four, I will return to dust. Since during my main phase, I can exile two, two. artifacts or enchantments. I'm going to do the archive and the dual. That was mostly for the archive, but pass there. Untap, upkeep trigger for land tax. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, seven. Score! Okay. I was going to say I have seven, so. We'll see if there's any left. Oh, there's one. Okay. I mean, to be fair, one mana one. draw 12 cards over the course of the game. Yeah. It's pretty pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. Okay. Planes in my hand. Draw for turn. Uh, swamp for turn. So now my coffers actually nets one. Woo! Big games. Game oh. I gained two from drawing. Uh, seven? All right, all right. Liza's on the stack. I think I have to delay that. <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm, might I'm as gonna... well just get rid of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, hold <laughs> yeah, on. you might That's get three it. three time counters on it, right? Uh, yes. Okay. That just absolutely ruins Joda. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I have to tap those. Ha, 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 ha. That's the toll. I'm good. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. Take two. Take two. If we just wait, he's going to die for Monarch. Yep. <laughs> oh, man, that's messed up. If we up. don't attack Actually, him. Though. Don't <laughs> attack him. You get, you get to be the king, but you get to die quickest, too. Here's a question. In regards to delay, uh -huh. if it's countered, do yeah. I have the option of sending it to the command zone? Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 you do. Um, Dude, also, that. I think maybe even if it's in the command zone, since command zone is technically exile, 
if you haven't cast it yet and the time counters go away, you get to cast it for free out of the command zone, I think, because the exile and the command zone are the same. Oh, so even if I did, it would still have it. I remember reading something about like that like ages ago. I don't don't quote me on it, though. So do you want it suspended or do you want it in the command zone? I'd rather it go to the command zone. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that is Between understandable. Between the two. Yep, I agree with that assessment. Six. I'm gonna cast Joda with Cavern of Souls, can't be countered. He'll come in. Oh yeah, I need to I need to tap these as well. So I have three floating. I am going to spend the three to cast a Peregrine Dynamo. Um, it's not eight cards, so. <laughs> yes, yeah, I will. Still could. Go ahead it's like you can Bloom Tender for five. Bloom Tender for five. And I'll spend. Didn't expect that. Oh wait, oh wait, <laughs> oh wait, Arcane Signet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that You know, I just throwing out options. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trigger Joda. Peregrine, um, it has haste and I can pay one and tap it and copy an activated or triggered ability from a legendary source. Ooh. So like Stranic Resonator. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Uh, so, Jota Trigger, are you good with that? He's playing safe. No. <laughs> Not the Orzhov player. <laughs> so. yeah. uh, nope. It would have to be. Nope. <laughs> no, no, nope. no, not me. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, hey. I get Skrelv. Skrelv. <laughs> Defector Might. Toxic. On the bottom of the library. I don't think we have to worry about dying to Toxic. Hey, 10 pokes, he'll, he'll get there. <laughs> now I will add Wooburg. Your things make my spells cost more. I'm playing, I'm casting a Send Triplets right now. And so so it costs two less, but you make it cast one more. So it costs four. Um, so I'm gonna keep a, I'll keep a floating white. Okay, Jota Trigger. I'm going to pay it, pay that mana actually, and just copy the Jota Trigger. So I'm gonna Cascade twice off of Send Triplets. Boink. No, no. I wish I could cast that Urza's. <laughs> uh, Lavinia, each opponent can't cast non-creature spells with current mana cost greater than the number of lands they control. I don't think that really matters. With taxes, it's game. not a huge deal, but... Yeah. What's the other one? Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if... If no mana was spent oh, to that's right. cast it, counter that spell. And that's not as likely. Oh, okay. And then... Yeah. Oh, hey, I do have another lifelink guy in here. There we go. <laughs> What's he do? Uh, Vigilance Menace Lifelink. Creature cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield. Players can't cast spells from graveyards. My flashback. Yeah, I'm going to go to my end step, lose two life. Yeah, this is rough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass. Draw and take two. Talisman of Hierarchy. Okay. Oh, you do get another. I do get another Arsassim. Do you want me to take the Monarchy from you? I mean, it, nah, bro, he's good. Just, just leave <laughs> it there. <laughs> it's one of those things where I like. Yes, please take it. Okay. <laughs> I will I will easily allow you to hit me for one. Yeah, that's that's all it is going to be. Is I'm going to take you and hit you for one and take the monarch. Okay. All right. You you can have it. It, it is all yours. Now that's the gift that <laughs> yeah. keeps on giving. Oh yeah, because worst hole doesn't affect you. It right? does not. That's right. Okay. Yeah, it's opponents. You can tap whatever he wants. Um and then I will draw for end of turn. Take two more. Now I get to draw and lose life. Draw the catacomb. Comes in untapped. Mm. Tap all my lands for six mana. Actually, no, I'm gonna do three white. And I'm gonna generous gift the war's toll. Okay. You get an elephant. Three, three, green elf. That was with one of the white, so I have two white floating, and we'll say a blue. But I'm gonna play Spear of Heliod. So my creatures get plus one, plus one. So these are all three twos, three, four. That's three, four. So now I can swing at you for nine with these three. Through the air. And then you'll die to Shieldred later. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> yep. Wow. <gasps> yep. Okay. Yeah. These won't untap now, though. Oh, I do get two new fairies when I cast this, though. That's true. Yikes. So I'll say these two are untapped. These two are untapped. Holy and I shmoly. will pass the turn. You got a little too scary there. <laughs> I had that, to finish yeah, you off. No, yeah, I, I understand that. <laughs> I will untap. Upkeep land tax fulfilled the measure of its creation. I will draw for turn. Gain two. Now I got to handle Shieldred. <laughs> All right, swamp return. Coffers actually mean something. Unless he pulls something out of the hat and he uh, can destroy it before he draws. <laughs> I it, well, we'll see. Maybe I should have killed him. But <laughs> five black, two white. So I'll cast Lisa from the command zone. Oh yeah, because you pay life instead of tax. That's right. So I've got two. Oh, because <laughs> now you're probably dead either way. <laughs> I had a, I had a way to survive. Yeah. I had a way to survive, but with the Liesa there. You cast a spell on that one. Maybe Since I, I have should to do, tap them all. One, two, three, four, five, oh. six. You don't have to tap your lands anymore. Oh, I don't, That's dude, I, I bro. So I could attack so with free. just some of my creatures. And I will pass turn. 
Okay. Upkeep. Look what you did. Don't they too big to untap the creatures? Oh, yes. Yes, they are. Okay, upkeep. I was going to nature's claim my own guy to survive the draw. Ah. Just remember this. John killed you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah. <laughs> Well, so, so I'm I doing the chopping, but you put him on the block. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I have to target John with send triplets. Cool. Um, well, eh. So what have you got okay. in there? I have mana confluence and four planes. That's half of it. Okay. And then, oh, thriving heath as well. So that's all my land that I've got. Okay, so I have return to dust as well. I have hatred. Ooh, Ooh. it's coming. The chrome as well. That's what we got to worry about then. Rise of the Dark Realms, <laughs> Swords of Plowshares, and Asterion the Decadent. At my end step, I can choose either double the amount of life I gained or double the amount of damage my opponent took. Uh, okay. All right. I will draw. Uh, shield, well, Shieldred trigger, trigger on the stack. Yeah. I'm going to Nature's Claim. I'm going to Fierce Guardianship my Nature's Claim, and I'm going to die to Liesa Trigger. There you go. There you go. All right. Oh, so close. Man, yeah, that Shieldred really... That was insane. You want to you wanna attack John? <laughs> he might destroy his own Meek Stone. I might. I think I think I'm gonna do it right before his untap step. Would that just be a, as you die or what? It would be yeah, as he yeah. dies uh, during his turn. Yeah, so end of his turn. Because officially Jay hasn't untapped anything, yeah. so I'm gonna anguish on making my own meek stone. <laughs> <laughs> I get to untap more things, so and you lose <laughs> two life, yay! Yeah. So it's not the worst thing in the world. And two more life from Liesa. Yeah, it was that or Shieldred. I don't know if what was the right yeah. choice here. So <laughs> do it to it, Lars. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if this is the right move or not. Tap here to create eight. Elish Norn Centibite. Oh, man. That hurts a lot. That's a good one. Oh, it hurts him. Well, but it, it also my makes his stuff smaller. Yeah. I could have hit him for 15 with these, though. <laughs> 12, 15, 22. It's, it's bad for me, but if you can kill him and win, then it's the right move. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will block Marchese with Shouldred. Okay. Who has death touch? Yep, because everything else is even, and I want to keep my commander out for a bit. So I will take the five and eleven. I'll take eleven. You did great. <laughs> At least I didn't have to get rid of that. I draw a card for Monarch. Hey, there we go. For once, it doesn't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It took long enough. And I'll pass turn. It's like I feel so free. Hey, you can draw without I losing can life. Draw and play uh, land. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, you're hellbent. I'm hellbent. Oh. Whoa. So the the election one was bad. <laughs> Sorry, I no, that's like, fine. I, um, no, 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 no. I mean, I think you want to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're I in a good spot right too. Ball. Yeah, you're in a good spot now. Yeah, um, I'll I'll pass. Upkeep, draw. Like I'll play Scrubland. Sure, we'll just go for it. Rise of the Dark Realms. Ooh. You'll get to draw a card and that'll die. That's so I will bad. take two. <laughs> I'll take two on the cast trigger from Lisa. Yeah. And you're just reanimating everything. All creature cards from all graveyards going to the battlefield under my control. So you'll get that bit. Woo! Baleful. Good, good thing I'm dead. All it does is draw you a card. So Shieldred returns. That's big, Audrey though. Comes back. Getting the Shieldred back is really the only thing you really shield. needed there. Oh, yeah, you're getting a ton of juicy stuff. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> that helps. But does any of that die when it comes in because of... Oh. So, like, yeah, Baleful yeah, would yeah, come in, and then it would die. die. So I, I would still draw a card off of that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Fumuko on this end does die okay. right away when she comes in because she's two power and toughness. She's one a one three, three yeah. so she comes in as a zero one. Yeah, you get all that. No one. Okay. And then this is the draw off of that. I'll stack that trigger to where Shouldered enters first, so I will gain two life off of that. Yeah. Do they have haste? Are you attacking? None of them do. None of them do. I thought about tutoring for that instead of the Meek Stone. Mm. But it would okay. cost more to get. The Meek Stone changed the course of the game completely. It did. It did. Yeah. Yes, it did. Was, I'll pay two, and I will cast Swords to Plowshares on Elish Norn. Okay. My fairies come back, right? No. <laughs> so you're going to gain. Okay, so you gain four. What I should have done was cast that before Rise of the Dark Realms, because then no, I would have had it. No. I would have kept a couple more creatures. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Also, Elish Norn is exiled. Actually, exiled. So now Lisa can attack for five. Woo! Well, seven because of Brina. Oh yeah. You can attack me because he has more life than me. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna remember from combat, so you're not gonna <laughs> get those triggers. So, okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'll move to combat. I'll attack Jay, and he'll it maze it. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so you untap it, put counters, so counters and out. and you still draw a card. Attack trigger. Two two. Draw a card. I'm doing what I can. 
Yeah, and yeah, no, this is... Oh, I gained two life. Shieldred, thank I you. I unfortunately didn't get any of my card draw out this game. Pass turn. Uh, Shieldred, path to exile. Oh! Take two from drawing, take two from casting. Oh, yeah. I did. I haven't taken two from casting, but I did take two from drawing. Uh, path to exile. I get a basic land, which I don't have. <laughs> Fail the five. Boom! <laughs> Tap six, play Shadrix, flying double strike in the air. Nice. Um, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may choose two. Each mode must target a different player. So the first one is target player creates a 2-1 white, white and black inkling token with flying. And the second mode is target player draws a card and loses a life. And the third is put a, puts a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Yo. You lose two for casting that as well. Oh, hey, you cast your second spell this turn. Yep. That's <laughs> Game two. Oh, no. Children's oh, gone. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Children's right. gone. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking the path. But think, barrel. At the beginning of combat, even if I'm not attacking, I still have to choose one person to draw a card and lose a life. Do you want to draw a card and lose a life or create an inkling? I'd take any of those. The card might be the best option, though. I'm not giving John a reward here, right. so. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, draw a card, lose a life? Yeah. And I'm going to put a 1-1 counter on everything I control. Since Audric is back in play and you move to combat, all of my creatures have flying lifelink in Venice. <laughs> nice. Draw a card for end step. All right, Spencer, let's see it. <laughs> let's see it. Draw. It's not going to do a lot. That's what I drew off of your card. I can Esper Sentinel and get two fairies. Sure, why not? I'll attack you for two. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> it at least gains me three life. Cool. Okay. Mine? Yep. Might not matter. He's got a lot on the board. Yeah, I think, I think you're both dead. So. I'm in a good spot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will untap, and then I will draw for turn. Planes for turn. Okay, I'll do this as a security measure. Three, four, five, six. Oh, it only costs one more. Isn't this a swamp? Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. I will cast Wound Reflection. Ooh. <laughs> okay. You yeah. get paid extra? <laughs> so, I did. Or do I get to draw a card? Oh. Two, actually. It's two, because right, power right. is two. I ain't paying two. <laughs> you can draw a card. Well, Cyclonic you have to dodge. Yeah. To... Oh, that would be crazy, actually. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will now move to combat. While in combat, I'm going to cast a spell. Oh, I take two, because I cast a spell. And I will cast this spell. Four, five. I will cast a Chroma's Will. So all my creatures get... Flying, Vigilance, Double Strike, Lifelink, Indestructible, Pro, all colors until end of turn. I'll yeah, attack here, bad. and then I'll attack here. As long as I get half of your life total at my end step, you lose double that amount because of Wind Reflection. Uh, and then yeah. yep. Way W. More than enough damage. There yep. you go. Cool. Well, Vishra, that was a very good showing from the Angels. Actually, every deck Urza was able to do something in this game, and that's what I really like to see in Commander Madness. How about you at home? What do you think about our game today? If you're enjoying the kingdom, consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Also, we do have a great group of patrons, and I'd love to see you over there, so check it out at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. Our biggest shout outs to our fellow kings, Jordan Ritchie and Worthy Glover. You both rule. A big thank you to our samurai patrons, Chris Crowley, Chandler Carlisle, Dr. Birdseed, and Jason Garner, LDAP, Matias Salazar, Morton Christensen, and Revolution Gaming. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. Thanks to our knights for keeping the kingdom safe, and remember, keep it nerdy. <laughs>